What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? God damn it. What do you want? I have to go. I got a lot of comments like this in that video. I just want to say I never said that I'm the only person who has ever decorated sketchbooks ever. And yes, people have done it before me, and yes, people have sold them before me. I wasn't asking for credit for the idea, I was asking for credit for the inspiration. For example, if you're inspired by me to decorate and sell sketchbooks, I would just like people to say I was inspired by random. Although people have used that concept before me, I didn't decorate sketchbooks because I saw other people doing it. I covered my sketchbooks with stickers and stuff before I came onto social media and I know a lot of people have. But because people come up with the idea to start decorating and selling sketchbooks because of me, I wouldn't mind some people saying that they're inspired by me. Because in art school and art college, you get a lot of marks for crediting your inspiration. 
that doesn't necessarily mean that the person that they're crediting for the inspiration came up with that concept of art. It's just directly where you got your inspiration from. And again, I am not forcing anyone to credit me. I'm trying to create a nice community that normalizes crediting inspiration. I don't mind hearing people's opinions. Just please be nice. The person in the mirror looking like they want to fuck me. I ain't thinking straight, no way, yeah, I must be. All of y'all be rusty, but I know what I'm doing, so I think that I can trust me. Trust me. Bitches calling my phone like I'm locked up, now nah, stop. From the plane to the fucking helicopter, yeah. Cops pulling up like I'm giving drugs out, nah, nah. I'm a pop star, not a. He's making series of interesting noises on instruments. painting videos here ended up on the wrong side of tiktok and in all honesty i don't really care about all the hate comments that i got on that video because i have pretty thick skin and there's almost a hundred thousand of you guys here who love my art so i don't really care too much about people who don't but what i find so funny about that is that nobody ever says anything negative about my other paintings that have crimes in them it's just always the ones with arson and something that's even funnier about that that I've noticed is that pretty much every single person who, like, types in my comments something negative about it, it's always just saying, arson isn't quirky. <laughs> and something even more crazy about that is that all of their accounts look exactly the same. Like, I know it's not the same person, but it's these people who play these dress-up games. 
games. And their accounts are just filled with them playing these dress-up games of dressing up these little anime-like characters. Like, it's almost like they're children who think that they've outgrown the arson is funny phase. Drawing characters from my dreams, part 6. I think this took place in the same school from part 1 of my dream series. It must have been the last day or something since the class I was in was watching a movie. Another class came in with chairs to sit and watch the movie with us, and I distinctly remember one of the students being a boy with cat ears and a maid outfit. I told him I've always wanted to get one of those, and he replied well why wouldn't you? I told him I didn't want to be impulsive. I don't remember the rest of our conversation, but he did sit next to me during the movie. I like to think he encouraged me to buy a maid outfit. Maybe I'll buy one similar to his in the future. Also my reach is low right now so interactions are appreciated.